Now let's talk about question 3 which is uh, under momentum. So the question is saying during an automobile crash test a car of mass 1.5 times 10 to the power 3 kg yeah to the power 3 kg collides with a wall and rebounds as in the figure below we can see the diagram the initial and final speed of the car are 15.0 meters per second and 2.6 meters per second respectively if the collision lasts for only 0 0.15 seconds find part a momentum of the car before impact part b momentum of the car after impact but C, impulse delivered to the car due to the collision. But D, the average force exerted by the car during the impact. So let's first understand the, the question. Okay. And I think it's uh, very important for me to teach everything about momentum from just this question. So let me teach you about momentum. Okay. So what is momentum? Momentum represented by P is uh, defined as the product of mass times the velocity. If you have got an object, this object is moving. At the same time this object has got mass, then we expect to have momentum. But momentum, as the object is moving, momentum is changing. Okay, So there is what we call the change in momentum. Momentum will always change. Okay, now there is a relationship which you need to know between momentum and impulse. So there's what we call impulse. So impulse is the product of the force times the change in time. Okay, so as long as the force is acting on an object, that object is moving, the time it takes to move that object, that is what we call the impulse. So the force times time is the impulse. Now, according to impulse theorem, we say impulse is equal to the change in momentum. This is the relationship which is there between the impulse and momentum. Okay. Now, initially we know that it is the velocity which is changing. So we say impulse is equal to the mass times the change in what? Velocity. The mass will not change. So initially, meaning we have the mass times the V final minus the V initial. But at the same time, you can also say from section A, we were talking about the same thing, where you say impulse can also be equal to the final momentum minus the initial momentum. Okay. Now, since we are saying that momentum impulse is equal to the change in momentum meaning that if I have the data for impulse I can use it to, to, to find the change in momentum okay if I have the data for change in momentum I can use it to find the impulse that is just cool okay now another formula which we have to take note here is this Since we are saying that impulse is given by the force times the change in t, momentum is the mass times the change in velocity. This formula is very, very, very important. We should take note of this. So, as long as I've been given this information, I can use anything. I can find anything. I can find the velocity. I can find the force. I can find the time. Okay. Now, from this question which we have been told here to say the initial and the final velocity is, we have been told that the initial velocity is 15 meters per second. The final velocity is 2.6 meters per second, respectively. And the time we have been told is 0 0.15 seconds. The first question is, find the momentum of the car before impact meaning we are talking about the initial momentum okay meaning 
the momentum will be equal to the mass times the initial velocity. So momentum will be equal to the mass is 1.5, the mass is here. Here is our mass. It's 1.5 times 10 to the power 3 kgs. Let me just shift this to be here. Then I'll put this in brackets times the initial velocity is 15. Okay, meters per second. So our momentum, so this is before impact. I'll just say it is the initial momentum. Okay, initial momentum, initial momentum. So my initial momentum I'm expecting to be 1.5 times 10 to the power 3 times 15. Okay, so the answer I'm getting is 22,500. 22,500. So it's kg meters per second. Now I can, if I want, I can put this answer in scientific notation, which is going to be the initial momentum will be equal to 2.25 but now just because this is in one decimal place and also this is also in one decimal place I can say 2.3 okay but it's okay I can just say 2.25 times 10 to the power 4 kg meter per second but if you want you can just leave it there that's just okay that is the answer well so that is my initial now I'll put it there let me just put it um, here so my initial Momentum is twenty two thousand five hundred. Twenty two thousand five hundred kg meter per second. So I'm done with part A. Part B is the momentum of the car after impact. That is after now collision. That is the final momentum. So we we'll say the final momentum will be equal to the mass times the final velocity. So the final momentum will be the mass is 1.5 times 10 to the power 3 times the final velocity is 2.6. So the final momentum will be 5 1.5 times 10 to the power 3 times 2.6. So it's 3,900, which is 3,900 kgs. 3,900 kg meter per second. You leave it there or you put it in scientific notation, it's going to be 3.9 times 10 to the power 3. As simple as that. Meaning, to leave these answers in to the power 3 even this one is supposed to be 22.5 times 10 to the power 3 this one and not to the power 4 so that we leave it in uh, to the power times 10 to the power 3 okay so this is my answer my final answer now this is my initial momentum that's my final I'll put it here 3.9 times 10 to the power 3 kgs meter per second so the next question is um, find the impulse delivered to the car due to collision 
so impulse is equal to the change in momentum so impulse I'm using this because I can use this quite okay but I don't have force in this case that's why I'm going to use this relationship so impulse is equal to change in uh, momentum so change in mo momentum is the momentum final minus momentum initial so the impulse will be the final momentum is 3.9 times 10 to the power 3 minus the initial momentum is 22.5 times 10 to the power 3 so the momentum derived will be 3.9 exponent 3 or times 10 to the power 3 minus 22.5 times 10 to the power 3 so the answer I'm getting is negative 18,600 if I put it in scientific notation it's going to be um, it's going to be 18 negative 18.6 times 10 to the power 3 so impulse you follow this now is force force is in newton so the sign to be newton seconds if you want you can say it's just 18000 negative 18600 newton seconds that's all that's just okay it's cool so i'll put this answer here then I get rid of this okay now we go to we go to the next one uh, find the average force exerted on the car oh find the average force exerted on the car during this impact so impulse is equal to we want to find the force times time the change in time we want to find the force I will divide both sides by change in t even here time so these can cancel the average force will be equal to the impulse divided by time so average force will be impulse we have found that is negative 18.6 times 10 to the power 3 divided by the time we have been told is 0 0.15 seconds so the average force will be negative because impulse is negative so negative 18.6 times 10 to the power 3 divided by 0 0.15 so I'm getting my force to be equal to uh, 124,000 Newton negative 124,000 Newton I can put this average force in scientific notation to say it's going to be negative I say one two three if I want to put it in, in to the power three so it will be negative one point four times ten to the power three Newton that's my folks so the 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 general idea with a uh, uh, momentum we need just to know the relationship between the momentum itself and the impulse and how do they relate the formulas the initial momentum that's all so that is it for question three